If you've already tuned CPU power plans, GPU scheduling, and network stack optimizations, but still see odd latency spikes in latency mon, pointing to dxgkrnl.sys, ndis.sys, or even memory access delays, chances are your system is wasting cycles on something you don't actually need, DMA remapping. DMA remapping is part of the IOMMU framework. Intel calls it VTD, AMD calls it AMD AVI. Its job is to isolate and remap device memory access so VMs can run safely. But here's the thing, on a gaming PC without heavy virtualization, those checks only add latency overhead when your GPU, NIC, or SSD makes frequent memory calls. Let's disable this unnecessary layer so your hardware can communicate directly with memory again. Step zero, safety first. Before diving in, create a restore point. Type RSTRUI in run and create one. Export registry keys before editing. Right click, then export. These steps are safe for standard gaming PCs, but avoid them on systems actively running Hyper-V VMware workstation with pass-through devices, or enterprise servers. Step 1. Audit IOMMU DMA remapping status. We start by checking if Windows is actively using DMA remapping. Press Win plus X, Device Manager. Expand System Devices. Look for entries like IOMMU DMA remapping device. Intel R VT-D controller, AMD IOMMU device. If you see them, they're registered with Windows. Even if unused, they still sit in the driver stack. CMD check. Run this to list virtualization features in Windows. System info, find virtualization. If it shows things like Virtualization enabled in firmware, yes, but you're not using Hyper-V or VBS. DMA remapping hooks are still live. Step 2. Disable DMA remapping services via registry. Windows includes support for DMA remapping through virtualization-related services, usually tied to IOMMU, Input-Output Memory Management Unit. On consumer systems, these services aren't always necessary and can introduce latency, especially for real-time applications like gaming or low-latency networking. To disable them safely, we'll use the Registry Editor. Open Registry Editor. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, then hit Enter. Navigate to the following key. On the right side, double-click the Start value. The default is typically 3, which means the driver loads manually when needed. Change this value to 4, this tells Windows not to load the IOMMU driver at all during boot. Next, repeat the same process for these two keys. In each of those, set the start value to 4 as well. These services are related to virtualization support and DMA remapping. By disabling them, you stop extra kernel-level calls into the remapping engine. You reduce the chance of unnecessary virtualization layers adding latency to device communication. Note, this is safe to do on most non-virtualized, non-enterprise systems. But if you're using Hyper-V or certain sandbox tools, be aware this could interfere with those features. Reverting is easy. Just change the value back to 3. Step 3. Remove hidden DMA filter bindings. Disabling the IOMMU driver is a good start, but Windows can still enforce DMA remapping policies through lightweight filters, especially for high-speed ports like Thunderbolt and PCIe. These can remain active even when the underlying driver is off. To clean them out, open Registry Editor again. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, then press Enter. Now, navigate to, in this key, you'll typically find values that control DMA remapping behavior for devices like Thunderbolt ports, PCIe expansion slots, 
or SRIOV single root I.O. virtualization devices used in server and enterprise environments. If you're not using external GPUs, hot pluggable PCIe cards, or enterprise virtualization features, you can safely disable these policies. Look for values like device guard DMA remapping, policy state. Set both of these to zero. This tells Windows not to enforce DMA remapping or isolation on devices that don't need it. Clearing out these filters reduces overhead in the kernel's device security pipeline. It's a subtle change, but if you're chasing down input lag or inconsistent latency, especially with high-performance gear, this can make a difference. Step 4. CMD Cleanup of DMA-Linked Devices even after disabling registry policies and services, Windows might still have DMA-related drivers installed and registered in the system. These drivers can stay loaded in the background, tying into IOMMU or virtualization paths unnecessarily. To clean them up, open Command Prompt as Administrator. Search CMD, right-click, and choose Run as Administrator. Now run this command to list all installed drivers and filter for DMA-related entries. This will return any driver entries where DMA appears in the name or description. Look closely at the results. Some examples you might see. Intel VT-D-related drivers. AMD IOMMU packages. Hyper-V DMA remapping components vendor-specific DMA filters from virtualization tools or testing hardware. Each entry should include a published name like oem45.inf. If you spot a DMA-related driver that is clearly not in use, for example, leftover from a removed virtualization tool or motherboard utility, you can remove it using pun util. Replace oem45.inf with the actual file name from your system. Important! Only do this for drivers you're confident are no longer needed. Do not remove chipset drivers, storage controller drivers, or anything tied to currently installed hardware. If you're unsure, look up the .inf name before deleting. Cleaning up unused DMA drivers here ensures they won't silently load at boot or rebind to your hardware. Step 5. Rebuild ACPI and test latency. Now that you've disabled unnecessary DMA services and removed old drivers, the last step is to refresh ACPI mappings. This helps flush any stale hardware references tied to IOMMU or DMA paths, especially for devices like your GPU or NIC. Open Command Prompt as Administrator, then run the following. 1. Scan for devices. This refreshes the driver stack and checks for any unregistered hardware still present. Give it a few seconds. It'll rescan and update the internal device list. Number two, reset ACPI tables. Now disable and re-enable hibernation, which triggers a full rebuild of ACPI hardware mappings. This step clears out any cached ACPI data forcing Windows to reinitialize hardware at the next boot without reattaching disabled DMA hooks. That's it! We just disabled hidden DMA remapping overhead that Windows was applying even though you weren't running virtual machines. We audited I.O. mood drivers in virtualization hooks, disabled unused DMA services via registry, cleared hidden DMA filter bindings, removed stale driver entries with CMD, and rebuilt ACPI mappings for a clean system boot. On gaming PCs, this frees your GPU, SSD, and NIC from going through an unnecessary memory remap layer, reducing latency and smoothing out performance. If you noticed your latency mon results improve or games feel more responsive, let me know. And don't forget, Keep virtualization off in BIOS unless you actually need it. Otherwise, Windows loves to sneak these hooks back in.